hello everyone welcome you all today i will show you how can we install this github and we'll see what is a github so let's get started so what is a github so github is a subsidiary of microsoft which provides hosting of software development and version control and the headquarters is in uh, california it has been a subsidiary for uh, microsoft since 2018 and it offers a distributed version control and source code management functionality of kit and plus its own feature and it provides access control and several collaboration features such as bug tracking feature and task management continuous integration and some wikis related to the project so which is a very wide range of uh, we have many features when we go into professional enterprise version and it offers a free version too where uh, individual can uh, uh, contribute their code management into the github and if anyone wants to go to the github enterprise version they can buy based on the pricing and it is very much uh, advantage when it comes to svn to github so where in svn we don't have version control whereas in github we have version control so that is an one good feature and the collaboration is also one of the feature where all the team members can contribute and uh, we'll see how can we download this github and later i will show you uh, different features of github how we can push the code to github from uh, using a desktop application from using git bash from using various tools like intellij and eclipse so let's see that so we'll go into uh, how can we download this github so let me open my chrome browser and if you type a github here and you will see the links so github desktop so we can click on this github desktop so i will provide this link in the description section uh, you can uh, take from there So this is a link uh, so in case if you are uh, trying to log in from ubuntu or mac system then you will see respect to download link so currently i am in the windows operating system so it will show me the windows uh, download file so we'll see uh, we'll download that file and we'll see the installation process and this is how it look like uh, the features and uh, the what all uh, how can we push the code syntax and everything and let's click on download for windows 64 yeah. now when uh, the tool has been successfully downloaded let's click on this exe file so here is uh, the setup widget it is running So here you will see the welcome to github desktop and if you have an account you can sign in to the github.com in case if you don't have an account you need to create a free account and here we have a two different uh, uh, logins where uh, github.com free version and sign up with the github enterprise version which is a paid version so let's click on sign in to github.com so it is uh, uh, asking me to sign in but I already has an account so it is asking me to authorize the desktop setup because I already logged into my web version and it is asking me to authorize so we need to click on authorize desktop and click on open desktop app now you will see it is been automatically routed here and we need to click on continue and here email it is been added some uh, the code here so let's click on continue and click on finish submit so this is an uh, repository so this is a desktop uh, app how it look like so we have an options to create tutorial repository clone a repository from internet create a new repository on your hardware and add an existing uh, 
to the repository so we will see one by one in upcoming tutorials so this is the installation process and you will see the login details or who logged into the application so this is all the details and you will see the tips and you will see some uh, navigations on the header so we have files edit view repositories branch help so we'll discuss one by one in upcoming tutorials so i hope this small session is useful for you in case if you are new to my channel please do subscribe to my channel there are more tutorials are in queue for this uh, github so which is very much used and asked as part of interview point of view for testers developers and devops engineer and it is much important for devops engineers and developers is it so thank you for watching Thank you.